You are viewing these videos because for one reason or another, you need to know how to use Excel to view, manipulate, or otherwise manage data. That much we know for sure. But from that point on, all I really know is that everybody learns differently. Everybody has different goals. Everybody has different motivations. My challenge is to engage you and meet your specific learning needs. And that is really challenging in a pre-recorded environment where I don't actually get to meet and speak with you directly. To do so, I've written and arranged this series of videos in a very specific way to hopefully accommodate everyone's individual preferences. If you're interested in learning how that's done and how it works so that you can learn the way that you need to and want to, then go ahead and listen to the rest of this particular video. Some people thrive getting an IV infusion of information. Give it to you all at once so you can go ahead and run with it. Others find that to be overwhelming, and it's easier for them to take a slow meter dose over time. Otherwise, they kind of get the first stuff, and then little by little, they start to get overfilled with information, and very quickly, they're going through the motions, but not really learning or retaining much of it at all. We do have one advantage, and that is this entire series is about one specific feature of Excel. That would be tables. That's going to help us keep a single focus. Beyond that, though, you can go as fast or as slow as you need. You can fill your plate and stuff yourself at the buffet on your very first trip through, or you can take a few samples of things on your first trip, then return when you know exactly what you want more of, or that you want to try something else. Both ways you get to consume what you want and need, but in the way that you are most comfortable with. Because this is your training, you can watch the entire series from start to finish in one sitting, or you can watch one topic now and another later on, after you've had a chance to think about the first one, maybe even practice with it a little bit before moving on. Because these are videos, you can also replay any particular topic at any time. Sometimes you'll even mix and match, watching topics you're comfortable with once, then moving on to another, and taking more time to review less familiar or more advanced topics more than once. How fast you go through the topics and how much you consume at any one time is up to you. As an instructor, I wish everyone was motivated and willing to learn everything there is to know about each piece of software they have available to them. But the reality is that never happens. We're trying to allow you to focus in and know everything by making this a deep dive course, at least everything that is to know about tables. But still, you have some options. If you want to know all of the features and skills, then you can watch the series from start to finish. But you also have the option to just use selective features, skip skills that maybe you already know, or find and view features that you specifically need at the moment for a particular project or task. And then, of course, I do hope if you skip things, that at some point you go back to the skip topics when time allows or the need arises. That way you truly will have a fully rounded education and not just bits and pieces. No matter your specific personal approach, these videos are all designed to be standalone, meaning you can watch any one of them in any order at any time and they'll make sense. But of course, they also are designed to link together. So if you watch them progressively, they will move progressively and make sense in a logical order as well. Another way that people often look at training is, do I want just the facts or am I really a detailed person that either wants or needs to know it all? As we just said, you can watch the entire series or choose specific topics. But there's one more thing to help you customize your learning experience. There's a concept in education known as levels of learning. It basically says that on the one end, a person can be shown just how to perform specific steps to accomplish a task. The one, two, three, if you will. That makes them able to accomplish that task. But it doesn't give them enough to extend that specific thing that they've been shown how to do and apply it to other situations that may not be exactly the same. In order to extend your knowledge in that way, in order to be able to formulate your own solutions to unique situations and be able to evaluate how well the solutions are actually working, you need to have a little more than just the one, two, three. Once again, there's no right or wrong way. There is just different ways with different purposes and different goals. The first video in each chapter lists learning objectives for that entire chapter. It then goes into any of the background or theory that you may need to know to fully understand not only what to do in that chapter, but what is happening within Excel and why you should be doing it. It's not necessarily more technical, it's just more in-depth. Not all chapters have a lot of theories in this particular series, but we'll still do the initial video to provide learning objectives and to be consistent. Watching this information will allow you to more fully understand the breadth of all of the interactions that occur in Excel as you work with the features of tables. You'll know what your options are and what your actions will do, how to resolve issues if they arise, 
and how to formulate solutions to use Excel beyond what we're able to actually demonstrate in this series. With that said, if you don't want to be bogged down with the details, you can skip the first video of each chapter. You'll still learn the steps necessary to use Excel tables. If you've taken Excel training before, or use it extensively and understand how it works, and you just need to know the specific steps for tables, then this approach will be just fine. If you're in a need to know now mode, this will also be the information that you need. Although I hate to say it, if you're the kind of person who just wants to make the car move and you don't care how it actually works, you can skip this initial video in each chapter as well. It's your learning experience, so learn the way that works best for you. The last thing that I want to say actually has nothing to do with how the course is designed. It has to do with what you're going to do with it. The most important part of any learning is that you are able to actually take what you've been shown and actually do something useful with it. I try to infuse these videos with lots of real-world examples that you can relate to. As you watch, try to think of one or two ways that you can use what's being shown with your own data and how your organization is currently using that feature for tables. Also important is that you find a way to use what you learn sometime in the next week or so following when you learn it. Work with whatever worksheets you have or make a new one. There are also practice files for every chapter that you can use if you don't have your own data. Most importantly, just use what you learn as soon as you can. Talk to your colleagues, your supervisors, whoever's available to talk with you about how tables are currently being used or can be used. It'll spark your enthusiasm, stoke your interest, and strengthen the investment that you've made in learning about tables in Excel. It's your training. Make the most of it.